washers. Anyway, this is how to install the Swag CJ7 tailgate off-road thingamajigger. Featuring ducks and chickens. Alright, so I guess first thing you do, you put the hinges on here, and then I'll show you what you do after that. Even spacing. I created an unforeseen issue with this. I figured as long as it stayed, stayed behind this lip, it would be okay. I guess I was wrong. Yeah, you can cut the foam, it doesn't matter. Just don't cut the metal and we're good. <laughs> So there needs to be a even spacing on the bottom so we're gonna just put this spacer here uh, and I, another idea I had would be to use a ruler and just stick it underneath. Try to get an even space, even gap all along the bottom and try to line it up with the top the best we can. The metal wedge ended up being a little too much so we switched to this piece of cardboard and just off of a regular old box and that seemed to give us just the right amount of gap after that. We made sure everything was lined up, make sure that your gap between both edges are even, and then we just pressed it up, pressed these hinges, make sure that the hinges were flat up against this metal here, and drew our two puncture holes. After that, you're gonna need a 13 by 32 inch drill bit to drill those holes. Well, this, this is the fun part. We're trying to get these brackets. Jeff's having about the same amount of luck over there. Well, I don't have a, a forgot to record the piece, but yeah, I think so. But there's a bracket, a welded bracket custom made with two bolts in it, and you have to align it with these holes. The problem is that's very difficult. There's a little tiny hole about the size of your thumb right here that you squeeze them in. If you have a body inch lift, it's easy, it's, I mean, it's not that bad, but um, if you don't, you're gonna have to take off your body mounts to lift up your toe a bit and get it underneath here. But that's not the hard part, it's actually twisting these in, so it might be easier with two hands. I'm, I'm getting it over here, kind of. <laughs> you got one side, trying to get, Jeff somehow already mastered this technique probably years of experience doing stuff like this meanwhile I still have like baby hands and I can't get them in there <laughs> we got it got them all in yay we probably need to be careful pulling it down though because there's not tensioner there so it'll probably just swing down and hit the thing all right well it's looking good we're halfway done got the main part done See. That's all it is, yeah. yeah. Put a couple, couple of old bolts in there. Did it not even come with the bolts for it? No. Wow. Yeah, shame on you, Swag Off Road. You gave us a kit to convert, but you didn't give us all the parts. Like, unless, unless like, it just, like I don't think so. Tap this in here? Not according to the instructions. So they gave us the instructions and they told us that we need this bracket that goes on there, but they didn't give us the bracket, so like, what on earth? Like Cause, uh, Spike Off-Road really messed us over, so we're gonna try to, Jeff got this big sheet of metal off of a roof, I guess, and he's gonna cut out my, our own brackets. And then I'm gonna go tell Swag Off Road to figure out what's going on with their thing.
Jeff just finished making these out of that. So we can use them for the cable right there, like that. So that set us back a lot, but uh, he might be fixing a call swag off road to start making that one piece that they don't put in their kit. Uh, I don't understand. What's the deal, swag off road? That, that one piece, that's all we needed. Like you have a kit for everything, everything except for that. So here's our custom made brackets, but uh, if, if you're not in a rush to start living in your Jeep, probably just order those unless you actually can make those. But uh, that's the only thing, and now we just gotta get the cable on. So we're getting so much closer now, but uh, we're kind of in a pinch for time because the sun's going down and we hear thunder, so unless I wanna get rained on. This is a 14 millimeter for the bolt, and then what size is this? A seven by 32 Allen key. I got a socket thing, but an Allen key will work too. I don't know how these go off. Oh, there we go. Okay, and that's what we're gonna use to get these cables on real fast. Because the bolt went through. So oh, you put the, the box end on? <laughs> Rip, you must stay. <laughs> I always put that in. Oh. Well, I have it is a rookie mistake, but it, that's the one I always use. Okay, let's go out now. Nope, we've got to take this thing like all the way up. I'm done. Alright, and then you put the brackets on, and the end. It's over. <laughs> Tailgate is on. The rubber gasket isn't fun, but the tailgate is on. <laughs>